And finally, uh, apology. It was proper for them awaking in ordered houses among russet walls where fruit grew ripe to the hand, walking on lawns where fountains arched in the summer to praise through their gentle days the dwelling virtues and architect epics to honor the good and the brave. But we who have climbed to the top of tall houses in winter and heard in the gathering silence the limp of the clock, who done by our need through the days are unfailingly traitors in sad and undignified ways to each circle of friends. And easy, perhaps, for the desert-maddened preacher with his withered loins and the dirt hard in his pores, to lash with his locust tongue the uncertainly happy and call on the townsmen to shrive and to shrivel for God. But we who have climbed to the top of tall houses in winter and heard in the gathering silence the limp of the clock, who done by our needs through the days are unfailingly traitors in sad and undignified ways to each circle of friends. How can we praise in our poems the simplified heroes or urge to the truth we can never be true to ourselves? O oh, love that forgives because needing forgiveness also, forgive us that we have not lived through a virtuous day, that we ask to be judged in the end by our own compassion. Thief calling to thief from his cross with no Christ in between.